Hey y'all, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. I am going on an adventure. <laughs> so today, this weekend, I'm going to be spending some time in South Carolina. A couple of my friends and I are going to hang out. It was my birthday this week. Wednesday. So woo, happy birthday to me. And they want to hang out. And I have been wanting to go for a really long time to see them. It's been a while since I've seen my friends. And so I want to hang out with them and just kind of see what I can see and maybe stay somewhere. Um, so I'm excited to get started. I've got about a two hour trip, about two and two hours, maybe two and a half to three hours, you know, getting gas and stopping and all of that good stuff. But first I am going to go check and make sure that all my oils and liquids in my car are all set. So I'm going to head over to my favorite oil place to get a checkout and have them top off everything. So let's go and get started and we'll be on the road. head to Smoothie King right now that's pulling up to right now and I'm going to order a smoothie first before I do anything because I can't be on the road starving that's just it just doesn't work for me so let's go inside and grab something okay thank you you too sweetie Okay, I got my drink. It has like, it's huge. Well, because they didn't have um, honey for the bowl, I had ordered a um, bowl instead of a smoothie, but they didn't have any um, honey. They only had peanut butter and I don't like peanut butter. So I got a smoothie and I think it's strawberry apple I think it's strawberry apples kiwi apple juice blend or something and um, coconut water so okay it's good it's not too sweet I like I'm very happy with it it doesn't taste too sweet it's big I know I'm not gonna eat drink all of this but it's nice to have it and um, yeah so let's go ahead and get started back on the road Well, it's a little busy today, so we'll just see what's going on. Good, how are you? Good. I just need to top off. Top off? Yeah. Thank you, yes. 
I appreciate you. I can. I want to show you all something. This is one of my favorite things. Hold on. Look at these murals. This has got to be one of the dopest things ever. You know, this is why I go out of my way to come to this oil shop. They are always efficient, professional, kind, and just overall amazing customer service. Turns out that I didn't need any extra fluid or any top offs whatsoever. Everything was in great condition and I had a couple of miles and a couple of months Thank you before so much. I had to come back for my oil change. So I want to give Take 5 on Battleground in Greensboro, North Carolina a shout out. Thank you so much for y'all's customer service. Thank you. Awesome. I was going to try to show you all the mural but um, oh, you know what? I know how to get there. <laughs> First of all, there's some clanging in the back that's driving me nuts, and I think it's my water bottle. So I'm gonna go fix that, and then I have to get gas because I'm on E. So let me go grab that, I'll be right back. Yeah, it is my water bottle. That noise is driving me absolutely crazy. Something kind of flew, right? 
into the vent. I didn't think too much about it. I just, you know, saw it. Like it was like a split second. So I thought it was like a piece of wrapping receipt or something. I didn't think too much of it until it crawled, until it popped up again and it, I realized it was a bug, right? But I still couldn't see it because I had the AC on. So it kept, um, it kept falling in, right? So it did it again and it crawled out this time and it was on the window. So I was like, wait a minute, that's a wasp or some sort of, not a bee, a wasp. So I opened the window and I saw it fl fly and I thought it was, it had flown out. So I said, okay, it's gone. I roll up my windows because I don't, I don't want to get anxious. I just want to get it out, right? So I thought it was out. The next thing I know, I see it again. And it's crawling in the front of me on the dashboard, but it's crawling and I, and then it's like flies a little bit and lands like right next to me on my, you know, the, the sill, the, I'm gonna say windowsill, but you know what I mean, like the top of the window. So I am like doing this and as I'm doing this, I'm pulling the car to the right and I'm opening my windows and I'm trying to grab a paper to like shoo it out. So I'm trying to ease myself finally, I ease myself over to the breakdown lane and I'm trying to get it out. I jump out, I take my kimono off, I have a kimono over my dress and I'm shaking it out because you know, sometimes animals will cling, you know, bugs will cling to your clothing, you know, and then they'll climb back up, right? <laughs> so. I'm over here freaking out because I'm and I don't want to you know I'm not screaming I'm just like uh because there's no point in screaming so I'm shaking it out and of course now anything that my hair is touching my ear I'm doing this I feel itchy it's just <laughs> it's a nightmare right now so it so forgive me y'all for like doing this because I feel like it was crawling up on me but I don't know how it got in <laughs> But it got in, but now I got it out. <laughs> it, it can't go for it can't go to South Carolina with me. No ma'am, no ham, no bacon, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> but anyways, that's the story. Um, oof. My heart is beating so fast right now because if there were more cars on the road, thankfully there were no cars around me. I might have hit somebody because I wasn't even paying attention that I was going over. Um, so, anywho, that's it. Back on the road. <laughs> Woo! I just went to go grab some gas and snacks and saw all of these railroad cars and thought of my dad and my grandfather. I was told they used to hop trains down here in South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, all those areas. So it was really sweet to see it. It was just kind of nostalgic in a way of thinking of them while I'm on my travels.
made it. I look forward to sharing another cup of tea again soon. Until then. Yes. Okay, y'all, we are here and ready to eat. Let me show you what we got. So, Nico got the chicken. And then a side of rice. And a side of rice. And this is a virgin frozen daiquiri, y'all. I ain't drinking. And, Ty, you got what? This is a um, ACP top channel, no shrimp. Okay, yeah, you can't eat shrimp. And I got the veggie, um, okay, let me, I can't even put it together. <laughs> I got the veggie fajitas, and they are frying. And we got the crying baby too. He is mad at somebody. And there's my, Okay, y'all, at this point, I have to do a voiceover for two reasons. Reason number one is the baby would not stop screaming. So I'm just going to talk about the meal while I show it to you. So I'm folding it up now. Cheers to you. About to take a big, humongous bite, so big that I burn my bottom lip. <laughs> And I'm greedy. And I just showed you how greedy I am. And I don't care. <laughs> the meal was delicious. It was really good. I tore those fajitas up. I didn't have a to-go box like I usually did because they were so, so good. And I want to check in with my friends. Mika loved hers. She gives the chef's kiss. Ty over here is the second reason why I had to do a voiceover. Because I told him not to cuss. And what did he do? He cussed. <sighs> On top of that, I ask him about the meal and he wants to give a whole dissertation about the onions, about the chicken, about the beef, about the seasoning. Bruh, I just want to know, was it good or not? Nah? <laughs> but that's cool. I love my brother. He always gives a good a good detail about anything he does and I appreciate that. The onions. Hey guys, so it is Sunday. I am leaving South Carolina. I'm saying goodbye to my peoples. We tried to keep her. 
she wouldn't stay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I had such a good time. And so, um, yeah, so I'm going to head on out and head on this old dusty trail. And um, I will give you my update as I head back into um, North Carolina. y'all I didn't finish a recording at the end of my destination back and the reason being is because as it got dark a fog rolled in and I mean this fog was thick and I was a little nervous and I was apprehensive about driving I was on the phone with my friend and he obviously sensed my apprehension so he stayed on the phone with me all the way until I got back into North Carolina which I was so grateful for it's so good to have people and friends and community around you so as we watch this beautiful scenery and look at this sunset I want to give you some of my reflections you see guys when I left the north to come to the south I came by myself I left my family, my friends, everything there. I was terrified, I was lonely, and I wasn't sure if I made the right decision. But as I've done these journeys, these soulful journeys, I've created community already. I have friends, I have family down here, and it's been an amazing thing that I've done. I'm proud of myself because I have shown myself how strong I can be and how resilient and how amazing I am. And I also am doing this because I want to encourage others who may be thinking about traveling on their own, being nomads. I'm just going to tell you all, don't hesitate. Just do it. I hesitated for a long time and I will never do that again. I truly, truly appreciate you all watching my videos, commenting on them, and just enjoying the things that I enjoy. So I thank you for watching, and until next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment.